Grab your pencil and your paper. And turn on your imagination. We're gonna draw, draw, draw. We're gonna create, create, create. We're gonna make, make, make something great, great, great. We're gonna draw, draw, draw. We're gonna create, create, create. We're gonna make, make, make something great, great, great. We're gonna draw. We're gonna create. We're Hey there, artist Steve Harpster here, and I'm a cartoonist that loves teaching young people how to draw. And I've got all these different how to draw books, like drawing cute critters using numbers, where if you purchase a book off my website, link below, I'll draw a little picture in there and sign your book. So you can get uh, cute critters, awesome aliens, crazy dinos, and that's at Shop Harp Tunes. Like I said, I'll have a link below. Now today, I'm going to show you how to turn a letter B into a bunny. So we're going to draw a letter B right here. And we're going to add the bunny's eye. We're going to make it a baby bunny. So we're going to make the pupil or this eye nice and big. And then we're going to draw the ear by curving this around like so. And let's give it a little bit of detail. We'll draw a nice little line up there. Maybe even make extend it down a bit. Now I'm drawing in pen, but you probably should be drawing in pencil just in case you make a mistake. I draw in pen because it shows up better on the screen. Also, also, we're not trying to draw perfect today. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's okay if you mess up. I'm gonna make mistakes today. I'm gonna mess up. And you know what? I'm going to be fine with it. So don't worry. If you make a mistake, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and we're going to draw the other eye right here. I'm going to put the pupil nice and close to this one. Not too close, not so it's cross eyed, but those are some really cute baby bunny eyes. And let's draw another ear. And that same detail, just like so. So we have the eyes, we have the ears. Let's add a cute little baby bunny nose. We're gonna draw the nose right there. And then we're gonna bring a line around like this for the face. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna bring this line around like so. With a little curved line for a cheek. I notice my eye is a little off, so I can always go back and fix things if I need to. So I'm gonna move that eye just a little bit, maybe make them a little bit bigger. There, I think that looks better. Now let's add some big bunny teeth. And you can decide how big you wanna go. I guess I'll go about this big and I'll draw a line there. Some nice big bunny teeth. And I'm gonna draw a line from the nose, almost all the way down to those teeth. So we have the face, and you can really see this bunny coming to life, and you can barely see the letter B. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the back and the body of our bunny. So we're going to draw a curved line that goes around like this. So we're going to start here, like so. And let's draw the back leg. We're going to draw a curved line here. And then the foot. We're going to start here, draw a line like that. and then. We'll bring it back like so. And let's let's bring this up just a little to finish that leg. Look at that. It almost looks like a number two. Almost like a number two or a number three that goes flat at the bottom. And let's add some bunny toes. <laughs> While we're here on this back end of our bunny, let's add that fluffy tail. Now, if I ever go too fast, remember you can always uh, pause the video and just by tapping or using the uh, arrow keys on your keyboard, you can go forward and backwards. So don't worry if you miss a step, not a big deal. Okay, now we're gonna draw the front legs of our bunny. So we're gonna draw a front leg here and some little toes. And then let's bring it back up. 
We're going to draw a line from the teeth over to that front leg to finish the body. And then I want to draw a little hint of the front leg on the other side, a lot of overlapping, so we're not going to see much of it. So we're going to draw a little line there for that leg. And there's the foot. And some toes. And then I'm just going to add some shadow in here to make that leg kind of recede into the background, make it pop. Now my favorite part is adding details. And this is where I want you to use your imagination. You can make anything happen. For instance, we could have some texture by just drawing some little fur lines here. You could add some little whiskers. And then we should add a little bit of a setting or some ground for our character to, to sit upon. So I'll draw some grass here. And now that you know how to draw a bunny, you can redraw it and you can make it better and better each and every time because with more practice, the better you will get at drawing bunnies. In fact, you'll be able to take this character and draw it in different positions and different movements. Hey, and if you love drawing, I have my subscription art site. It's called Harptooniacs. You can get commercial free how to draw lessons with story prompts, comic book prompts. You're not only gonna learn how to draw, but it's gonna encourage you to write about your character because at Harptooniacs, I believe every drawing tells a story. For instance, what is this character's name? I'd love to know what you think a good name for this character would be. So leave that in the comments below. And I want you to check out Harptooniacs. There's a link below. And guess what? There's a couple free lessons you can check out there as well. So I hope to see you back here and we're gonna keep on drawing, creating, and imagining.